The battle of the mid-range has just got very heated up with the entry of Realme's Next Pro and in just one year, Realme's takeover of the budget segment has been impressive, shaking up some of the other brands in the segment. And with the Realme 3 Pro, it seems to be going after Xiaomi's Redmi Note 7 Pro, since both have been priced identically at 13,999 rupees. But does the new Realme 3 Pro have what it takes to be the very best in this segment? Let's take a look. The Realme 3 Pro looks similar to its predecessor in terms of design. The bezels are pretty minute and on the back it has a gradient design. There is a slight S-shaped pattern on the back which Realme says is inspired by racetracks. We got the Nitro Blue variant for review which looked pretty good. There is an adequately large 6.3 inch Full HD Plus screen. Viewing on this phone is not a bad experience. The Realme 3 Pro comes with the Snapdragon 710 chipset and is the first phone in this price range to support this chip. We played the heavy duty PUBG on this phone and felt that it performed pretty well. The Realme 3 Pro has a 4045mAh battery which is coupled with one of the best technologies in fast charging, WOOC 3. The only thing to note here is that it doesn't have a Type-C slot but a micro USB one. Type-C means fast charging. Where I want to clearly define that Type-C doesn't mean fast charging. This 80% people, the myth is very clear that they believe when Type-C is a fast charging with micro USB with WOOC 3.0. We can charge an 80 minute full phone where in Type-C with the competitors also they can charge at around 130 minutes or 140 minutes. The phone can be unlocked through face unlock and a fingerprint scanner as well. There are two variants of the phone that are available. The 4GB RAM 64GB storage variant is priced at 13,999 rupees while the 6GB RAM 128GB storage variant is priced at 16,999 rupees. There's no dearth of storage on this phone since it can be expanded via a card up till 256GB. Coming to the optics, the Realme 3 Pro has a modest 16 and 5 megapixel dual rear camera. The sensor on this is the Sony IMX519, the same one seen on the OnePlus 6T. The colors on the images were pretty good and the depth in pictures in portrait mode was impressive. There's a dedicated chroma boost mode to enhance colors and this phone comes with a nightscape mode which uses AI and takes some brightly lit night shots. There is also an option in the expert mode to take 64 megapixel ultra HD images. The images have good detailing but it is not much to write home about. There is 4K video recording and most impressive of all, there is a super slow motion mode that can record videos at 960 FPS. The camera is definitely one of the big highlights of the Realme 3 Pro. Even the front shooter does not lag behind with a 25 megapixel lens. On the software front, the Realme 3 Pro runs on Color OS 6 based on Android 9 Pie. This does have a more modern and cleaner look. And now for the verdict, the Realme 3 Pro packs in a whole lot of power, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 chipset, a good camera and an impressive battery with fast charge really make this phone stand out. Especially at 13,999 rupees, it is a value for money proposition and we are sure it has riled up competition enough to sit up and take serious notice.